Hey everyone, Mike here. October is a big month for Starlink and we just got a hint of the potential for speeds up to 500 megabits per second, but this time on a plane. All the details on that and the rollout coming up. Before COVID, I used to fly a lot for work. I work in computer security, so I would sometimes shell out for the in-flight Wi-Fi, and it was usually a pretty mediocre experience. Slow, with a lot of latency, just like what a lot of you are facing back here on the ground. SpaceX has been working away in the background to improve the situation for commercial aircraft. Way back in November last year, almost a full year ago, SpaceX applied to the FCC for authority to operate their Starlink user terminals on airplanes, specifically at the time on five Gulfstream jets. Kind of felt at the time that maybe it was for Elon Musk's own jet, but still, progress. Back in September of this year, SpaceX applied to the FCC to start testing their next generation user terminals on airplanes. In this case, SpaceX didn't specify a particular aircraft type, no more Gulfstreams, but they did specify that all the testing would be within 160 kilometers of Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola always makes me think of that scene from Contact. Now, we don't know a ton about the next generation of user terminals, except that they're smaller, about 12 by 12, more square, and they should be cheaper to manufacture. A tweet this week from Elon Musk talking about potential data speeds in aircraft has also suggested that the new terminals might be capable of up to 500 megabits per second. Now that doesn't guarantee that our consumer user terminals will do the same, but it definitely indicates that it's a strong possibility. It's also possible that airplanes might just have two user terminals and each will do 250 megabits per second. But for this FCC application, they specify specifically that it's just one user terminal. Now, Pensacola is also home to Naval Air Station Pensacola, a huge training facility for naval pilots. So it's possible they're testing these terminals for military applications. But if they are, it certainly seems like they're planning on using the same line of user terminals as they've been testing over the past year. Elon Musk has a big ask for all of us and I have an ask for you. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe to the channel and use that bell to get notified of new updates as soon as they come out. So for commercial use cases, Elon tweeted back in June that the limiting factor is actually the regulatory approval. Equipment needs to be certified independently for each type of aircraft. They're starting with the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 lines, because those serve the most people overall, just due to their popularity. Once they're certified, they could start deploying pretty much immediately for flights over the ground. Overseas flights probably aren't doable just yet, since they would need the laser links um, in place to get coverage over much of the ocean. But as I covered in another video, those have already started rolling out with the Vandenberg launches. Now, from the tone of the tweet, Elon is asking us as Starlink fans to start asking airlines for Starlink. Kind of seems like they're not having a ton of pull from the airlines, and they want us to make some noise. My gut reaction is that airlines are probably struggling right now, and they probably aren't looking to invest in a lot of new capability if they don't have to. Now, I know a lot of you viewers are pretty much just fine with that. I see a lot of comments demanding updates on Starlink down here on the ground before we start thinking about service in the air. Now, the question I ask myself is if I actually want better internet on planes. I kind of like reading on flights. If better internet means lots of people doing Zoom calls at 30,000 feet, I don't consider that an improvement. Be sure to pack a good pair of noise-canceling headphones. I'm kind of bummed the second Starlink launch out of Vandenberg was cancelled this weekend. I was kind of thinking about maybe doing a live stream to cover it, uh, in case they use it to announce any new cool Starlink stuff. I haven't done any live streams on this channel, so maybe use the like button and let me know in the comments if you'd want to watch with me and geek out on some Starlink stuff as they send up another batch of satellites. 
We're halfway through October. We're all waiting for that big nationwide rollout and an exit from beta and more huge developments in commercial space. Space is out there. Thanks for exploring it with me. See you next time. Space is out there. Thank you. Space, space is out there.